At Cairo's Abbasia Cathedral, a young boy, blindfolded to let what the faithful believe is the hand of God guide him, chose the name of Egypt's next Coptic Christian leader. And with that gesture, Bishop Tawadros of Bahara, aide the interim pope and pharmacist by training, became the 118th Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of all Africa in the Holy See of St. Mark the Apostle. The choice brought to an end months of uncertainty for the Church in Egypt's time of transition, interim Pope Bahomius. The world we are living in has lacked peace because it has ignored spiritual work. The basic, only source of peace is our Lord Jesus Christ. Tawadra succeeds Pope Shenouda, who died in March after more than 40 years of uneasy accommodation with the old government. The new pope faces daunting challenges, shepherding his flock, one of the oldest Christian communities in the world, into an uncertain future. Many cops worry Egypt's new Islamist leadership will mean a diminished role in their ancestral home. Coptic lawyer Mansour Hosni Fahmi Kesman. There is no good representation for cops, and there's not even representation in political or democratic work, not even the job opportunities. President Mohamed Morsi, who came from the Muslim Brotherhood, has promised to be a leader of all Egyptians. But his government has failed to stop attacks on minority cops by Islamic extremists. Church member Nagi Lofti Tamer is from a Muslim fundamentalist region in Upper Egypt. Demolishing churches, attacks on the sanctity of homes, thugs and terrorists storm into the houses of cops, like what is happening in Minya currently. Some are more optimistic. Church spokesman Anba Pola is part of the Constitutional Drafting Assembly. We put many things for Christianity in Egypt. Didn't, I wasn't before. Yani, I think it will be better than before. But the church also faces challenges from within. Younger members, empowered by the revolution that swept away Egypt's old political order last year, are beginning to raise demands of their religious leaders as well. And Bapola says the church is listening. This means we are thinking about our future. Church without youngs is a church without future. The spokesman says the new pope, guided by the Holy Spirit, will rise to any challenge. Tawadris will be enthroned in a ceremony later this month, attended by President Morsi. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo.